Hey guys, I'm David Cobb from the Chattanooga Times Free Press. This is Gabby from Get Out Magazine. We are here at the foot of the Blue Blazes Trail in the Mar uh, Moccasin Bend Archaeological District uh, here for your May Outdoor Roundup. Gabby, what's going on in Get Out this month? Well, this month was our camping issue, so as the weather warms up, we've got a million different places, whether you're looking for something family friendly, um, something a little bit more adventurous, or something just with a really beautiful overlook. Chattanooga's got a million of those. So pretty much that's the focus of the issue, everything from whether or not you want to bring your pets, your families, or you just want to get away from everyone for a weekend. All right, so I had a chance to go out to the Copper Basin recently with Dan Henry, who's behind the camera for us today. Uh, we got to check out the reclamation process over there. Uh, the 1800s, uh, it was terribly abused. Uh, it was a mining area. And uh, the, over the last 130 years, it's been a remarkable story of progression from, you know, uh, just nothing. There was no, there was no growth out there for, for the longest time. And now they've, they've reclaimed that space. And it's really a, a great environmental success story. So check out, check out that story in the Times Free Press. And so, Gabby, I read an interesting feature in Get Out this month about hyperthermia. Not yeah. hypo, but hyperthermia. Yeah, so hyperthermia, um, obviously the opposite of hypothermia. It's overheating, and it's an issue that doctors and um, basically everyone in the Chattanooga community wants more people to know about and be cognizant of. You know, we get really muggy, damp, hot weather, and the problem is when you sweat in that sort of weather, you don't get the same benefits um, and the same cooling benefits from sweating as you do when it's colder. Not the most, you know, fascinating of topics necessarily but something that's really important for the outdoor community and just everyone in general to be aware of drink lots of water stay hydrated try to stay as cool as possible especially with events like Iron Man coming up have you done any coverage of that recently not yet but uh, the race guide is in get out magazine this month right last month actually yeah um, this month though we do have a feature on a man named Chris Ray um, he's running for his daughter who has Engelman syndrome which is a pretty rare pretty serious disorder that she was born with um, categorized by lots of seizures, um, developmental delays, all sorts of things. So it's a really wonderful story and you guys should all check it out. Yeah, that's the Iron Man 70.3 coming up later this month. We'll have coverage of that in, in the Times Free Press. It's the first Iron Man of the year. Full Iron Man will be coming up later this summer. And then of course 2017 is the big year. Chattanooga has landed the 2017 Iron Man 70.3 World Championships. So if you want to get a preview of what that's going to be like, Go out later this month and check out the Iron Man 70.3. And if you can't make it out, stay with us at timesfreepress.com for all your coverage and uh, pick up last month's edition of Get Out to, to get a, a, an advanced look, a race guide uh, for what that event will be like. Wait, Gabby, tell us a little bit more about where we are right now. <laughs> we are at the Blue Blazes Trail in Moxon Bend. Um, now, this is one of the trails that they're still kind of working on, trying to get the kinks out of a little bit. Um, you don't want to come here when it's been raining at all. You'll end up in mud up to your knees, um, me especially, because I'm a little bit shorter than everyone else. But uh, yeah, you it's a beautiful trail. You should check it out. Yeah, Moccasin Bend is kind of the next outdoor treasure, I feel like, in the Chattanooga area. There's some efforts going on right now to get a police firing range kind of moved so the National Park Service can really kind of incorporate their vision for this area uh, onto this space. And uh, I think there's going to be a lot of recreational offerings here in the future that a lot of Chattanoogans will get excited about and that could even draw some folks from outside of the area to, to, to come check it out. It's a beautiful Absolutely. place. And I've spoken with Michael Wurzel. He's the executive director of Friends of Moxon Bend, which is the uh, the group that's really managed this property and made it and grown it into what it is today. And they have some new proposed hiking trails that they are working on alongside the National Park System um, since Moxon Bend is part of the National Park Service. So, and uh, so stay tuned for what's to come. Hey guys, well thanks for joining us for the May Outdoor Roundup. Uh, check out our work at timesfreepress.com. As always, you can pick up Get Out Magazine around town for free. Everywhere. Uh, you can get a pretty much million locations downtown um, from Camp House to Whole Foods and, well, now beyond. So then you can also check us out at timesfreepress.com. Excellent. Thanks for joining us. Thanks, guys. <laughs> okay, y'all are good. Y'all are good to go. <laughs> Please put that in the blooper reel. <laughs> are you the, the expert? Yeah, I'm an arborist. <laughs>
You seemed really certain of that word. <laughs> David, what's going on in the daily worlds of... <laughs> I don't know if I'm talking about those terrible. <laughs> so, and uh, so stay tuned for what's to come. Um, as far as what's next, <laughs> I thought you were going to... You were supposed to snap and point at the camera, I think. <laughs> Except for I snap with my first finger, which is weird. Guys, we're writers. We're <laughs> writers. We are not, you know, TV reporters. And so for us to be in front of a camera and having to, to discuss <laughs> these things that we cover, it's, it's, it's a challenge, you know. Uh, we're trying yes. to diversify ourselves. It's the 21st century. Uh, you know, reporters can no longer be one trade people. So we're, <laughs> we're trying to be uh, multimedia. We're trying to diversify ourselves. And I'm so much better with the written word. You know, I am too, I typically, but sometimes when I'm typing with just the one hand, it takes a little bit longer these days. I can imagine. <laughs> My skill set's pretty limited these days. I can <laughs> anyway. So what happened to your hand? <laughs> so what happened to your hand? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened to it. This is how it's always been.